So I've been excited for this pad ever since I saw the design and when I heard it was going to be a speed pad I knew I had to check it out. So before I get into the full review I want to say a big thank you to Ghost Glides for sending me this pad for review and if you enjoy the video hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel it really helps me out. So the Ghost Glides Courage pad is a piece of art that functionally performs really well in the category for speed mouse pads and in that category it isn't the fastest but it is faster than all of my control and hybrid pads. The Courage pad feels open in its performance characteristics you know but it's pretty manageable in terms of speed. It's maybe a hair slower in its dynamic glide than the Infinity Mice Speed V2 and the Lethal Gaming Gear Neptune. The initial friction is really minimal and the stopping power is sufficient. So the Courage also has a nice amount of softness to it too. You know, it feels a bit plushy, but it's not too soft. And this just helps me to help manage that speed. And that small bit of depth to the surface allows me to come to a stop nicely in those clicking scenarios. And I've been enjoying this power with both tracking and clicking weapons in my play sessions. But if I had to choose one aim scenario it performs better in, I'd say it's slightly more suited to tracking. Something I've observed with other speed pads is that they often have an abrasive surface or a very hard weave. And that basically facilitates the speed element of the pad, allowing the skates to kind of skip over the top of the surface. So the Courage pad breaks this mold a bit by being really smooth and soft to the touch, but also somehow maintaining that speedy performance characteristic you look for in a speed pad. I really appreciate this because I'm not a big fan of abrasive or scratchy surfaces and this pad is super comfortable to use. I've used all sorts of skates on this pad and they've all felt great. You know, I've used core pads, cyclones, edge runners, some experimental skates from Ghost Glides and also their vortexes. And with the exception of the vortexes, the performance feels nice and smooth, you know, really low friction and a nice amount of stopping power. The vortexes feel pretty quick still but they really bring out the texture of the pad, which you can't really feel otherwise. And they add a lot of stopping power when compared to the standard PTFE feet experience. I've managed okay on this pad with dots, although I've been using 10 dots on each mouse recently, which stops it from sinking so readily into the pad with the smallest surface area available on the dots. So this pad is 490 by 420 and it's 3.5 millimeters deep. And most of my pads these days are 500 by 500 squares or close to that. And I'd love it if this was also a square, but the size provided with the Courage pad works pretty well for me, if I'm honest with you. I've never run out of space on the vertical axis. It's more an aesthetic reason that I like the 500 by 500 because it just fills the space on my desk. And that's just my preference. If I could have bought the Courage in a 500 by 500, that's what I would have, that's what I would have bought. And although this isn't a deep pad, you still get some nice play in the surface and it feels like a good balance in terms of softness. You know, it's not too soft, it's not too firm. It's kind of somewhere in between. The only other downside to this pad, which is a very temporary issue, is the smell of it straight out of the packaging. It's a very strong smelling pad due to the surface that's been used in combination with that PU base. But these things settle over time and after a week, I can't smell it anymore. So I know that design is subjective, but I really think this pad is beautiful. It's really unique because you get an entire storyline on the surface and it's been created by real people without AI assistance, which I also appreciate on a deeper level. So I won't try to sell you the design because I think it sells itself, but I truly think this is the best design on the market at the moment. The overall quality of the pad is also outstanding. You know, the stitching is as good as I'd want it to be. The print on the surface is really well done. You know, there's really no bleeding that I can see with my eyes. It comes flat packed, so there's no need to worry about it laying flat on your desk. And the polyurethane base is really good at sticking to my desk without sticking too much that it becomes a nuisance. So I mentioned this in my DreamPad review, but the PE base seems to work really well in my experience, you know, better than any pour on base I've used. It's way less fussy than pour on and it really gets the job done. I think this pad is a brilliant option for those of you wanting a different speed pad experience. If you aren't looking for extreme levels of speed and want a really nice design, I can wholeheartedly recommend this pad. Something I hope Ghost Glides do is continue to use this surface because for me it works really well with different designs. I'd love to see them iterate on this surface with different cool designs like the one they've got here. 
So I have quite a personal connection to the Ghost Glides brand because they are a UK based company of which there aren't many. And I've genuinely really enjoyed all of their products and I'm aligned quite closely with their qualities. You know, I appreciate the lack of AI, the designs that are original and not a copy of a different pad or a brand and the level of quality and premiumness, if that's a word, is genuinely so refreshing to me. I love to see Ghost Glides continue to kill it in the peripheral space, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. So I'm not affiliated with Ghost Glides, but their website will be linked below if you're interested in picking up a Courage Pad for yourself, or any of their cool skates. You know, they're all down there. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.